Lexus is now on their fourth generation of the RX. This is the best-selling luxury vehicle of any brand and type other than the BMW 3 Series. They sell over 100,000 of these per year. 2015, it was something like 107,000. Clearly, Lexus has a recipe for success. They're targeting younger buyers now, so let's see what the new RX is all about. The newest RX350 has a 3.5 liter V6. It makes 298 horsepower and 268 pound-feet of torque. It's not exceptionally fast. The all-wheel drive model does 0 to 60 in 7.9 seconds, and it gets mediocre fuel economy at 19 city, 26 highway for a combined of 22. But if you opt for the RX450 hybrid, that gets really good fuel economy, 30 combined, which is really good for such a big luxury crossover. Absolutely. The RX really shines in its interior quality for the money. It's got a lot of technology as well as luxurious materials and it's very well designed. One of the best parts is the heads up display. It's a $600 option. It's colored. It shows the speed limit, your current speed, the direction you're going, and if you're doing navigation, it can actually show you turn by turn directions. If you veer off into uh, oncoming traffic, there's a little bit of a diagram that'll light up in yellow to tell you which lane you're actually veering out of. And you get some vibration feedback in the steering wheel as well. Yeah, the safety features on this car are definitely plentiful, which is what the targeted consumer of this car is going to be interested in. You have the pre-collision alert system, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, rear cross traffic alert, all these things that um, ensure the safety of the occupants while driving the vehicle. You've got a heated steering wheel, which is really nice. I love the steering wheel yes. on the RX. It's got leather right where you're gonna be holding it at nine and three that warms up. You've got nice wood on the surroundings and it's got this little uh, rippling effect on the backside of the steering wheel that feels nice when you do turns. You've got heated and cool seats for both passengers. Yep. Some stuff we don't like about the interior. This comes with the lower end navigation screen. You've got two options, eight inch and 12.3, but they come in the same housing. So the eight inch screen feels a little bit uh, like it's lost and it's so small inside the larger uh, encapsulation. It's not quite integrated well, I think. It just kind of sits there like a tablet that's glued on. There's a few cars we've driven that are like that. In addition, the graphics interface on the nav screen are, uh, to put it nicely, a little bit outdated. Lexus definitely needs to step that up. The home screen is rather ugly. Um, <laughs> but the interface here to control everything over there is like a little joystick contraption. And ergonomically, it's placed very well and it's cool, but it's not the best to use. And um, I do think they could come up with something much better. I honestly think I could construct a better display using construction paper than, <laughs> than what they currently have. It's two colors, it's, it's blue and black, and compared to its competitors, the BMW X3, uh, the Audi Q5, BMW and Audi have stepped up their game tremendously in terms of their infotainment. So I know Lexus can do it, they're just, I feel like a generation behind. In terms of interior space, it's plentiful. I've got plenty of head and leg room. This model is larger than the previous generation, which gives uh, more leg room in the rear as well. Yes. It's spacious for a luxury crossover. This isn't a full-sized SUV, yet it can very easily fit five good-sized full adults. adults. Yeah. They uh, did a very good job with using design language to make it feel more spacious. Everything is very horizontal laid out. The dash is long and expansive and the uh, windshield is set further away. So feel like you make it feel like there's more space. Massive panoramic glass roof that uh, just amplifies the feeling of airiness in this car. Yeah, there's air is a good way to describe it. It feels like a very large volume inside here and you're not too close to any of the panels where it's claustrophobic or anything. And you've got a brilliant uh, field of view as well. Yes. The visibility is great out the front window and that uh, goes along with Lexus trying to have the car be safe. You're not gonna be accidentally running into objects that are in blind spots. Of course, you've got blind spot monitoring if, if that's an issue. Yep. Uh, and over the side and in the rear, the visibility is great as well. This car is great for traveling on the freeway. We were cruising down to Detroit and just the entire way it rides extremely smoothly, yes. well isolated from the road, extremely comfortable for a long road trip, which is the point of this vehicle. Um, you take it through some turns and it's not very happy about it. 
Yeah, handling wise, it's definitely not a sports car. Body when you're going when is... you're going in a straight line, it feels like a Lexus ES but raised off the ground, but then you stick it through a turn. And body roll and is that, insane. It's it's pretty intense. It has a sport mode. You can pretend to shift the transmission yourself, but it uh, does not do well. And interesting interestingly, the F Sport model actually doesn't provide any extra horsepower. You get a little more advanced suspension, bigger wheels. It's mo mainly an, an appearance package. So Lexus does not provide anything for the, uh, for the larger vehicles in comparison to the BMW M's or the Audi R, R RS's or Audi S's in that manner. Let's talk about the exterior. I think that Lexus has differentiated their car from the pack in terms of styling. It looks more aggressive, it's more angular, it's very different than the Acura, the BMW, the Audi that it's competing with. And I like that, especially in F Sport trims. Yes. The massive trapezoidal shaped front grille. I really like the L headlight and the LED daytime running lights and then the tail lights. Those look really cool. We pulled up next to a brand new Audi Q5 and this looked so much better than that. It's much more aggressive given the fact that this has rather ugly wheels. The base wheels are horrendous. Yeah, they're terrible. But the upgraded wheels, it is probably one of the best looking crossovers in the world right now, in my opinion. Absolutely. If you get the F Sport, uh, the spindle grille is a little bit more intense. The wheel options are much, much better. <laughs> uh, the only positive I can say about these wheels is the profile of the tire is so fat that if you're parallel parking, you can't even curve the wheels. You just keep so. running the sidewall and <laughs> curve. You will not curve your wheels. But it's just angular all over and it's Sharp exciting. Yes. I mean, when the, uh, the NX came out, I was really excited Whoa. to see yeah. What they what they were gonna do with the rest of the models and and the RX really uh... the new Lexus design language is extremely aggressive and I like it a lot. Pricing wise, the base RX 350 all wheel drive is forty three thousand three hundred dollars, and you can upgrade for another six grand fifty eight hundred for the F Sport model, which gives you a much better appearance package, wheels, paddle shifters. Uh, it's a cooler vehicle. What would you get? That's what I would get. I would spend the forty nine grand for the RX350 okay. if I was going to buy this vehicle. I feel like with this type of vehicle, the hybrid is the most intriguing option. The RX450, you can get the F-Sport package with it, so it looks really cool. Um, it's not, is that the hybrid package actually has more horsepower than this one. Yep. And um, it is the most fuel efficient, and the point of this car is not to be a fun canyon carver. It's supposed to be a nice, comfortable, luxurious crossover, and the hybrid would check all of those. You have the nice technology, the nice luxury, and Gets good fuel economy, so definitely 450 hybrid, and it looks really cool with the upgraded wheels. As a summary, here are some of the things we love and hate about the new RX 350. First, the reliability. This is a Lexus, and the RX has received a five out of five dependability ranking from JD Power time and time again. This is a car you can drive for 200, 300,000 miles, no problem at all. If you fall in love with this car, you can keep it basically as long as until it just dies of rust in the horrible Michigan winters. <laughs> Second is the material quality and all the features you get with this vehicle. Everything is high quality and built to a really high specification, and it has all the tech and luxury that you would want for a good price. Lastly, the looks. The RX, when equipped with the F-Sport package, is far and above more interesting and better looking than its competition. Some things that we don't like about it. First off, with these wheels, oh my god, they are atrocious. They're small and uh, boring looking, and they kind of ruin the overall look of this car. Um, if we had one with the S4 package, I'm pretty sure I would love it a hundred times more than I loved it. Definitely. The infotainment system is terrible. It's outdated. The graphics really bug me. Yeah. It's laid out in a somewhat intuitive way, but just the look of it takes away from the entire experience. Lastly, the way you control the infotainment system itself. This little joystick contraption is cool to use initially, but over time we became a little frustrated with it, and there's definitely better ways to have a graphics input. Overall, this is a fabulous vehicle. It's good value for the money. It's very luxurious very inside. Cool. It's spacious. The hybrid gets great fuel economy. It looks cooler than its competition. It's reliable. So, I mean, not Lexus, much about that. Yeah, Lexus has had great success with the RX. This is pretty much the their brand right now. And uh, with the latest update, I am sure they will continue to do very well because it checks all the boxes that the consumers of this vehicle desire. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video.